watching APTN. The following program deals with mature subject matter and is intended for adult audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. From beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, she kills me. With stand-up comedy from Sandra Bonner-Peterson and Heather Witherden. Recorded before a live studio audience. Now please welcome your host, Eden Robinson. Welcome to She Kills Me on Aboriginal People's Television Network. I'm your host, Eden Robinson, and we're featuring fabulous, fierce, funny females. Remember, <laughs> laughter is good medicine. She began dabbling in stand-up comedy a decade ago, and although she finds it less lucrative than broadcast television, has continued performing and now takes her comedy as a second career. She is very proud of having produced the series Bear Tracks, which highlighted stories, traditions, and cultural artwork of the Stolo people. Please welcome Sandra Bonner-Peterson. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sandra Bonner-Peterson, and... <laughs> I am the owner of um, a company called Bear Image Productions. And no people, that's not a porn site. It's bears and grr, not bears and naked. <laughs> but actually, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, maybe when people come and visit my site, I should have a bear standing there with these mucho grande chichis for the boys. And a nice little package for the girls, huh? <laughs> yeah, we check out the junk just like they check out our mucho grande chichis, huh? <laughs> but... A message to you male strippers out there. Don't be unwrapping that package, okay? <laughs> like seriously, whoop, you pull that thing off. That is not a turn on, okay? <laughs> and guys, what do you find so interesting about these great big things hanging here? I mean, seriously. I mean, granted, you know, when you guys fondle them, we get a bit of a thrill. But seriously, what do you guys get out of it? I mean, it's like two great big water balloons, you know, something like that. But uh, then there's some women, they will, you know, go and get these double N's or F's or whatever. I mean, huge, mucho, huge. I mean, they could kill themselves. I mean, hell, they could kill somebody. <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. I mean, and, and seriously, if you get those implants put in, they're dangerous, right? So don't implant them. Because I was thinking to myself, I said, self, I says, why not just buy the implants, right? Wrap them up, give them to your boyfriend, your husband as a gift. <laughs> They'll open it up and it's like, oh, look, my own silicone implant boobies, yes. I can play with them whenever I want to, right? And then what you could do is you put some Velcro strips on them, right? Yeah, stick them on, right? And then when it's time for you, bored, blah, 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 just throw them across the room and they will chase them like a dog, guaranteed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Frickin' men, eh? Frickin'. Frickin'. There's a word. Frickin'. Right? We can say frickin'. We can say shoot. You know, they are derivatives of a swear, but we can say them. I mean, where the hell did swear words come from anyways? Who made them up? Right? Does God have a filing cabinet in the sky? Right? Slams us. Oh, shit. Brown coily stuff comes out your ass. Don't say that. Bad word. Bad word. But you can say shoot. Go ahead. Say that if you want to. Right? Actually, you know what? I think I know where swear words came from. Newfoundland. <laughs> Yeah, sorry for any Newfoundlanders out there, but, <laughs> you know, I hang out with a Newfie friend, and every second word that comes out of her mouth is a swear word, right? <laughs> F and this, F and that, shit, bugger, damn, say it all the time, right? And uh, actually, she hangs out with a group of us. My mother's in that group. My mother's 84 years old. My mother never swore. Swears like a trucker now, you know? All because we hang out with this Newfoundlander woman. Now, actually, you're probably picturing my mother to be this frail old lady, 84 years old. 
No, not my mom. No, she's got a good sense of humor, that woman. I think that's where I get it from. You know, she said she is going to live long enough for us to change her poopy diapers. <laughs> huh? <laughs> she, she also says that old people depress her. And if she dies in her sleep, take her out and run over her. Because she's worth more in a car accident. Right? <laughs> of course, if I left that up to my husband, <laughs> you ran over 22 times, how do we explain that? You know, it's like, yeah, son-in-laws. No. Actually, my mother is very happy to wear Depends because when she goes into the casino, she doesn't have to get up from her machine, right? And, and in the States, y you can still smoke, right? Well, my mother hates smokers. Oh yeah, they sit down, they light up beside her. Ooh, she'll be lighting up something for you, all right. <laughs> I got a treat for you. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, you move away with that cigarette. <laughs> no. My mother, she gave birth to eight children, seven boys and myself, well, after my sex change. <laughs> Mom really wanted a girl. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I am a girl. There's no Adam's apple there. These are real. They're all mine. But uh, no. I grew up with, you know, eight boys in the same house. We had one toilet. And you were telling me that my brothers washed their hands every time they left that bathroom? Right. <laughs> so germs don't scare me. I have a big immunity to germs, right? I can go into a public bathroom, I swear. I open up that door, they drop dead. I don't need a paper towel, right? You know, some people said that, they, you know, they go in there and they have to flush the toilet. Well, they don't want to use their hands, so they got their heels and they're trying to flush the toilet and stuff, right? Water comes splashing out, they hit the wall. You know, it's like, not me. Bring it on, bring it on. Come on, I can take it. Super germ free, thanks to my brothers. But you know, there was one thing that I was always jealous of, that they could pee anywhere. Because they could just stand and pee, right? Whereas with us women, hey? You know, when I was a little kid, my mother used to have to make this little, little chair for me that I would sit in. Yeah, she stopped doing that when I was going to the bush parties. I said, sure, you don't want to come, Mom? <laughs> no, but you know, you go to these bush parties, right? And you got to find somewhere way out in the middle of nowhere, right? Because you don't want people to see your full moon over my hammy, right? You're like, ooh. <laughs> so you got to pull it down, you know? You want to find something with a bit of a canted angle, right? So you just squat in there and then, you know, you end up peeing all over your stuff. You know, it's like you're splattered and everything. You're sticky and, of course, you don't bring TP, right? I mean, who thought of that, right? <laughs> so anyways, you're stuck for the rest of the night. Whereas with guys, right? It's as easy as this, isn't it? It's like... Here, hang on to that second. <laughs> Anyways, you were saying? <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very nice. It's like a day in Provence. You're watching APTN. Elders tell us that when we fall, get back up again. You know, music is a conversation, right? We're all talking to each other. We're all having that connection. Talk to your mother, and I need to talk to her now. Oh, wait. Just leave. If I were you, I'd watch my step, young man. Are you confused by all the expanding hoses on the market? Don't be fooled by imitations. Hi, I'm Michael Berardi. I'm the inventor of the X-Hose, the original blue expanding hose. In fact, I've been awarded two Canadian patents for my invention. My X-Hose is the only patented expanding hose on the market, and it bears the trusted Big Boss name. Now I'm very proud to introduce my new Big Boss X-Hose Pro with solid brass fittings, a wider three-quarter inch diameter, and constructed from even stronger materials. Works like my original X-Hose. Just turn the water on, and my X-Hose Pro automatically expands and expands and expands as you effortlessly guide it to where you need to go. And when you're finished, my X-Hose Pro will automatically follow you back and contract for easy storage. My Big Boss X-Hose Pro is great for homeowners and professionals. I own a mobile detailing company, and this hose saves me a lot of time and energy on my job. It never kinks, it is super lightweight, and hardly takes up any space in my trailer. This 50-foot, 3-quarter-inch rubber hose weighs over 11 pounds. My 50-foot, 3-quarter-inch X-Hose Pro weighs only about 2 pounds. My Big Boss X-Hose Pro is actually made from a tough, multi-layered, expandable inner hose and the folded outer covering made from durable, super-strong webbing. Because of its patented design, my X-Hose Pro will never kink. Get my new Big Boss X-Hose Pro for only $29.95. 
My X-Hose Pro comes with a quality lifetime guarantee. If it ever fails, just return it for a free replacement. Durable, solid brass fittings. Super strong materials. Strong enough to pull an SUV. Three-quarter inch diameter for a powerful spray. Small enough to store in a drawer. And incredibly light. So call now. I promise you'll love it. To order, call 1-800-975-9692. That's 1-800-975-9692. X-Hose Pro comes with a 90-day guarantee and is not available in stores. So call and order your X-Hose Pro today. For years, I've been hearing UFO stories coming from out of the north, from all over our Cree territory. Missed your favorite show? Go to aptn.ca slash full episodes. The following program deals with mature subject matter and is intended for adult audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. All the way from Canada's biggest urban res, also known as the North End of Winnipeg, here's everyone's favorite wisecracking mom, Heather Witherden. <laughs> guys how are you oh so this is pretty exciting obviously uh, kind of a big night for me uh, last night I was a size four um, yeah yeah so <laughs> I have been working on trying to lose some weight and uh, they say it's a good idea to have some weight loss goals that have nothing to do with the number on the scale and I think that's a good idea so I have one would you like to hear it okay good uh, so my goal is to one day walk silently in corduroy pants. <laughs> God willing, God willing, it will happen. They also say keep in mind maybe you'd like to look like a celebrity. Um, you know who I really like? I love Queen Latifah. <laughs> I do. I think she's fabulous. Yeah. So if... Uh, you know, if I want to be like Queen Latifah, I have to do everything that Queen Latifah does. So I'm doing it. I'm eating right. I'm exercising. I'm making some shitty movies. Um, yeah, so far, so good. Um, thank you. I also think maybe, you know, maybe I could do another plan, like maybe the J-Lo plan next time, because it sounds pretty good, too. You know, eat right, exercise, and sleep with your backup dancers. So, yeah. Sounds like a good time. Maybe uh, a little Mediterranean diet, you know what I mean? A little high protein. <laughs> yeah, J-Lo, she does it, doesn't she? Um, also, maybe, you know, kick up the exercise a notch, perhaps. Uh, so I didn't know what I was doing, so I signed up for advanced spinning. <laughs> Probably not a good idea, because when I turned up into class, I found out it was basically the Tour de France on an exercise bike. <laughs> Not so good. I mean, the workout, yes, it was hard. Just really didn't like the needles. Um, very difficult. My skin is too nice for that. So uh, instead, I signed up for beginner spinning. Way better. Even the bikes are different, like they have baskets. Um, for our baguette and our wine, you know. It's very nice. It's like a day in Provence. Uh, so I also tried Zumba. I don't know if you guys have heard of Zumba. Zumba is basically like Latin aerobics, right? Um, that's a lot of money to pay to listen to that much pit bull. Um, <laughs> but uh, Zumba, turns out the Zumba is the Spanish word for menopause. <laughs> yeah. Zumba is also the Spanish word for my husband doesn't dance. Um, so my husband stopped dancing. We actually met on a dance floor, but now he's kind of given up dancing, uh, which is a little bit sad because I still love dancing. So if I want to go dancing, I do what every other woman does. I go with another married woman, right? Yeah, that's just what you do. And I mean, two married women going dancing together, that's not gay. It looks gay <laughs> because we're wearing flat shoes and men don't talk to us. But... Uh, So my husband was trying to get on board, trying to be supportive of this whole weight loss program. And uh, except he said, I wonder what you're going to look like when you get down to 120 pounds. <laughs> 120. 
<laughs> You're adorable. 120. I will show you exactly right now what I will look like at 120 pounds. I will show you. I'm going to look like this. <laughs> I'm trying to get to my goal weight, not my death weight, but thanks. Thank you so much. And he just couldn't stop. He said, well, I just don't want you to get skinny and leave me. I said, I don't want you to get fat and stay, honey. I love you. Love you so much. We've been married forever. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I got married when I was 20, 20 years old. 20. Oh, thanks. Not sure you should clap for that. Uh, thanks. The Hutterites are here. Um, they're like, yes. Met them off early, but 20 years old. I mean, I think 20 year olds should stay doing 20 year old things like, uh, you know, studying or drinking or getting chlamydia. Um, really, it's, I was way too serious, way too serious as a 20 year old. And uh, I mean, really, that's, uh, that's, that's too early to get married. And I, but I just wanted to show people how serious I was and how married I was and how sexually unavailable I was. So I did the next clear move, which was to wear Northern Reflections. You know? That's just, I am shut down. You know, I was 20 years old and I was, I was like really hot. Like skinny hot, thank you. Still hot, hotter now, yes. Yeah, because when I was 20, <laughs> I put that body into pleated pants and a fleece vest. A vest. With a goose on it. And the goose was wearing a lovely veil pink scarf. In fact, that goose had more style than I did, sad. Sad times. But uh, it was probably a good idea that I got married uh, at that time because they say that a woman in her 40s only has a 40% chance of finding a husband, actually. Yeah. I mean, those are not really bad odds because that really still means that she has a 60% chance of finding happiness. So, you know. So I was a stay-at-home mom for quite a long time possibly too long. Um, <laughs> but when I told people I was a stay-at-home mom, I sometimes found that I didn't necessarily get the respect that I thought it deserved. And I mean, I think stay-at-home moms work really hard. And I mean, for me, I had a husband, three male children, set of twins. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, yeah, but so I stopped telling people that I was a stay-at-home mom, started telling them I work with the needy. <laughs> Much, much better reaction for sure, for sure. And time has gone by super quick since I had kids, because I mean, I was 27, had a baby. The next day I woke up, I was 40, and it was garbage day two. <laughs> Come on, school day six. Why is my radio on top of my fridge? What the hell is going on? This is very creepy. Uh, <laughs> so my, uh, my son's a teenager, my oldest one, and uh, it's a little bit frightening to have a teenager, mostly because, I don't know, I guess I worried that we wouldn't have anything in common anymore. I mean, seriously, what do a 17-year-old boy and a 44-year-old woman have in common? But we have lots, lots. I mean, first of all, we're both being ravaged by hormones. It's like horribly, really bad. And I mean, he is, uh, he has loud friends. I have loud friends. But the really sweet thing is that we're both, we're both so anticipating our first sexual experience with a woman. So, yeah. I'm somewhere between like mall walking and anal sex. Over the next few hours, every player will start thinking ahead and the preparation will begin. If I want to be successful, then I have to push myself a lot harder than what, what I was doing. Practice, and then it's all about the game. Get the puck, get your feet moving. We're here to win. You guys got your chance to, you know, to prove that you guys can play. Hit the ice, Thursday on APTN. Here's to what's real. 
like bending the rules to brighten someone's day. KFC's new real deals are here. Eight pieces of original recipe chicken and fries for only $14.99. Here's to a real deal. KFC, so good. What would you do if your ticket won? I'd stay in the world's nicest hotels. And random ones, just to keep things interesting. The world's your playground with this Friday's Lotto Max jackpot of $40 million. I do it to stay sharp. I take care of my body, but it was harder to work out my brain. Willemosity.com is based on neuroscience, and it just seems like games, but it's serious brain training. I am happier with my brain, definitely. <laughs> Any brain can get better, and Lumosity.com can help. It's like a personal trainer for your brain, improving your performance with the science of neuroplasticity, but in a way that just feels like games. Start training with Lumosity.com right now and discover what your brain can do. We can prevent diabetes. We can bring back a tradition of healthy living like our ancestors did. We can eat healthy foods. We can drink water more often. We can be active every day. We can prevent diabetes. We can. We can. We are. Together. Word is spreading. Momentum is building. People from coast to coast to coast are seeing that health is in our hands. Go to aptn.ca slash health now and see how Canadians are taking control of their own health. Get information about immunization and why it's so important to have your child vaccinated. Take the quiz. Then head over to the video section and see what other community members are saying. Health in our hands. Brought to you by Health Canada and APTN. The following program deals with mature subject matter and is intended for adult audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. And now I've just told you my age, which I've actually stopped doing. I've stopped telling people my age. And uh, instead, you know, these days I'll just kind of give people a range. Like, eh, I'm somewhere between like mall walking and anal sex. I don't, I don't want to do either of those things. I don't. Because you know, you know, right? It's really painful. You do not want to do that. Like, if you're going to do that, my advice to you is, like, you got to start small. <laughs> like Costco. <laughs> um, yeah. You don't go all West Edmonton Mall right away. You will hurt yourself, for sure. Um, I find that being a mom makes you... It affects all your decisions, right? Like even just buying a bathing suit. I had to think about it before I went out because I thought, you know, I've got teenage boys coming around, but I think I bought a bathing suit that's actually possibly too modest, right? Because you tell me it's like, a, it's a one piece, it's black, but it also had a full face veil. <laughs> like that's a possibly too modest bathing suit. You look inside, the tag says, Wash by hand in cold water, infidel. Whoa, okay, that's intense, intense bathing suit. But seriously, they, uh, they're not kind, not kind to women in the bathing suit manufacturing world. I mean, they'll tell you exactly what bathing suit to buy according to your horrible, horrible flaws, right? Like, if you have large hips and thighs, wear this suit. Except for me at my size, I go to look at that hips and thighs bathing suit, and what does it have on it? A skirt <laughs> with ruffles, because ruffles are so universally slimming. I mean, come, come on, give me a break. Horrible. Because I, I think women should feel good, and I think you can look good at any size, really. You just have to have the right tools, right? Yeah. yeah. Use that toolbox. You know, for me, that tool is totally a level. Because if you're not lining these up before you go out each day, you're gonna, you know, don't, friends don't let friends go out with Marty Feldman nipples. That's all I'm saying. You know, that just, not a good look. Not a good look. And if you want to really detract attention away from hips and thighs, larger hips and thighs, hot tip. 
go topless. <laughs> no one's looking at this anymore. I'm like, yeah. For sure. I mean, they will be looking at these. For, and when they're looking at me, they're like, wow. <laughs> Those are pretty nice. The little one looks sad, though. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys have been awesome. That's our show for tonight. Thanks, APTN, for helping give women a voice. Big thanks to Kirsten Van Ritsen for creating the show. Wake up with aches and pains? Are your muscles sore and stiff? Is pain affecting your work and daily life? Then your life is about to change forever. Introducing Dr. Ho's Pain Therapy System, your solution to living with less pain. Developed by renowned pain specialist Dr. Michael Ho, the secret to the extraordinary results is the auto-modulated pain-relieving waves, clinically proven to relax muscles and improve circulation to relieve pain. Recommended by doctors and users everywhere. A 20-minute treatment helps relieve the pain of stress, fibromyalgia, tension headaches, migraines, neck pain, back pain, hip pain, shoulder tension, and joint pain in knees and hands. Pain related to sports injuries, accidents, and repetitive work. It's portable, safe, and effective. It's easy to use and feels so good, like a soothing massage. Get relief when you need it while saving you time and money. You could spend thousands on other treatments and costly pain pills and still suffer with pain. Until now. For this special offer, you get Dr. Ho's Pain Therapy System for just four easy payments of $64.99. You'll get Dr. Ho's Pain Therapy 4-Pad System with four massage pads, the pad placement chart, and instructional DVD. But get this. Call now and we'll drop a payment. You pay only three easy payments of $64.99. That's a 25% savings. Order today and get these suits.